Hey, how's it going? Hope you're well. Boy, it's bloody freezing in the UK right now. Uh, but I've got something to share. I've just got my brand new 2021 Trek Rail 5. It is the lowest model that Trek do, but I love it because part of ownership of e-bikes is upgrading, isn't it? It's the exciting thing where you get to kind of customize it and make it truly your own. It's 4,150 pounds in the UK, and it is their lowest model that they do. I think it's quite a reasonable price for a 2021 e-bike with a 625 battery with a Bosch Gen 4 motor. Completely aluminium. We'll have a look around it and I'll tell you I've changed it a couple of bits already, but I'm going to use it as my test bike. So it'll be used to test forks, shocks, tyres, wheel sets, all that kind of stuff. The colour for an entry level bike, for the base level bike, is so sick. I'm going to show you this colour kind of fade that they've got. Depending on the angle, hopefully that comes out okay on here, but you get this kind of purple into blue fade and it looks absolutely stunning. As the angle changes, the paint changes, the color changes. So they've got this two-tone colorway going on. And I actually think the colorway looks better than some of the more expensive models. With this fade, look at that. It just catches the light and it looks absolutely stunning. If you don't know about the Trek rail, just a little brief overview. 160 fork, 150 travel on the rear. Kind of more aggressive style on the geometry, 64 and a half degree head angle, 29er, kind of short chain stays for a 29er. I think it's around about 447 mil chain stay. And it's kind of built for all mountain, trail, enduro use, and it has one of the easiest batteries to remove. It's just in the side, just over here. The 625 battery pulls out. It's probably one of the best or neatest way of integrating a battery into a bike. It's got a key that you pop in the other side and you just pull this whole battery compartment off. And this plate is attached to the battery here. All right, let's go around the parts on it. This does have a very budget fork on it. It's the RockShox 35. It kind of works okay, but as soon as you start pushing it a little bit, it's not the best performer. So that would be a part that I would definitely upgrade. That would be on the first list of things that I would like to change. 35 mil stanchion, it's fairly stiff, heavy, 2.2 kilos that weighs, which is the same as a Zeb, a RockShox Zeb, which is a 38 mil fork. It's just a little bit underperforming on the damping, but it doesn't bother me too much because I will change that out. Now stock, it comes with some weird choices and I had to change the bars already because it comes with a 750 mil bar. And for me, that's a bit too short. So I changed it to an 800 mil bar. Stock, it's got the Bosch Puri on display. You can change it to the Kiox. It's massively chunky. If you watch my videos, you know I hate it, but it serves a purpose. It's just an eyesore on the bike. And until Bosch change it, I'm going to keep moaning about it. But it is what it is. It works. It's functional. Oh, I put these Ergon grips on as well. The stock ones weren't to my kind of liking. Um, so all I've changed is the bar stem and grips so far. Bontrager tyre. I've never used it before. Seems okay. Looks like it's got some fairly wide spaced knobs on it, but um, it doesn't look massively aggressive, especially not for UK winter. So I'll probably have to change that out. The dropper on it, disappointingly, is only a um, 130 mil dropper, which is really short. Obviously, because it is the base model, they stock it with like the, the, the cheapest parts that they can buy. So it's a 130 mil dropper, which I will have to change. It's just way too short. The higher models in the range, by the way, come with much more appropriate parts for the sizing. So if you were to buy the seven or the nine, you get like a better fork, obviously a better fork. You get a longer dropper, wider bars. It's just on this cheapest model. It kind of comes with the um, real cheap parts on it. But my intention, like I said at the beginning, with this bike is 
just to change out the parts because I, I really enjoy customizing them and experimenting and at 4,150 quid RRP, if you're friendly with your dealer, you might get a slight discount on that. I think it represents pretty decent value for money for a bike with decent geometry that is ripe for upgrading over time. You don't have to do it all in one go. You could do if you wanted to, but you're getting a banging frame, sorted geometry, amazing motor. The Bosch, I've got to say, is my favorite motor of the moment with decent software on the motor for 4,150 quid. Okay, let's carry on looking around. Um, the motor is housed with a neat little bash guard under there. There we go, you can just see. Neat little bash guard. And the Bosch motor is just tucked away inside there. Shock is the Rock Shocks Deluxe Select Plus. Just a basic shock, but works okay. Works quite well, actually. You could pop a coil in there and that's what I really want to do. Experiment with a coil shock in there. Rear linkage is decent in terms of the uh, machining on there. Looks fairly decent quality and I like how all the bearings have got the torque values written on them as well. Quite a big chunky uh, weld on that stay there on the seat tube. Doesn't look too out of place though. 29er on the rear and the drivetrain it's got the SRAM SX drivetrain which is like the real budget entry level heavy 12 speed drivetrain works perfectly well it's just heavy because it's uh, lots of different parts instead of like some of their top end stuff that's machined out of a single block but in terms of functionality absolutely fine 29er wheel on the back, SRAM SX shifter. It's actually got, I've never used these brakes before, any Tektro brakes, but it's got these Tektro four pot brakes, Orion they're called, um, seem okay. The levers feel a little bit budget. They are a budget brake to be fair, but you're getting four pot brakes. Come around this side. Look at the paint, it just looks really decent, doesn't it? The quality, I'm really, really pleased with the quality of the Trek frame. This looks really decent, and I know it's only the battery compartment, the charging uh, lid, but it is sprung loaded. It just feels like it's not going to fall to bits, and it looks well sealed. Some Bosch bikes, they're really kind of, they just feel really cheap on that part but Trek have done a good job with that. Bosch motor popping out there. And it's quite compact down here. It's quite small. It doesn't look like a massive, some bikes have got a massive kind of part down here and it's obviously an e-bike. This is quite compact. I think it looks pretty decent. 165 mil crank arm. Space for a bottle on the frame got bottle mount there and all the cabling is internally rooted it's quite neat just goes sits above the battery in the down tube 200 mil disc on the front tektro 203 mil disc and same on the rear so i'm going to tell you about my plans what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to fit a 170 mil fork on the front rockshock zeb in 170 and I'm going to mullet it as well. So I've got a 29er DT Swiss wheel that's going to go on the front and a 27.5 on the rear. And that will slacken out the geometry quite a bit. So it's 64 and a half stock. It's going to be around 63 and a half when I've uh, mulleted it and popped the bigger fork on. And I'm going to try and get a coil shock as well. I'm going to change the dropper and a few other bits. And then I'm going to do a ride and tell you my thoughts on it because there's loads of reviews of the bike online already in this stock format, but I plan on swapping out quite a few bits and pieces. I'm really, I'm really interested to see how it performs with the mullet and a little bit slacker because I think it is such a capable chassis. 
I'm going to make it more enduro, slack, and just this is going to be my long term bike. And I cannot wait to make the changes and see how it performs. It will not stay looking like this for much longer. I just wanted to get it out and show you because there's a lot of people really interested. Actually, on my channel, I think it is the most requested e bike uh, that I have, that I test, that I share. So I wanted to show you in stock form because a lot of people will buy it in stock form and I want to share with you my upgrades. So this is my long term project bike, loads of plans for it, loads of stuff I'm going to do in 2021. Probably do uh, the racing series on it as well. Look at it. It is sick, isn't it? It looks so good for a budget. I say budget. It's a lot of money. It's not lost on me that £4,000 is a lot of money. But in terms of value for what you get compared to what else is on the market, I think it represents pretty decent value. Trek Rail 5, 625, 4,150 quid. Looking amazing. And I'm literally going to go right now, go back to my workshop and swap out the fork and start making changes and subscribe because I'll share with you all the good stuff, all the bad stuff about the bike. And um, I'll let you know what I think in my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you guys soon.